I got a four minute plank challenge for you right now. The reason this is four minutes is because you can get this done in less than five minutes. It's going to be tough. It's going to be hard. It's something that you can do in your living room or at the gym. Make sure that you are warmed up, ready to rock and roll. We're going to jump right into it. Four minutes. We're going to do four movements for a minute a piece. You're going to follow along with me. Your goal is to do this all the way through without taking a break. If you can't do that yet, we're going to build off of it. And in a few weeks, you will be able to do it. Let's get started. Starting up, bear crawl hold on your mark, get set, and go. We're gonna go here in this bear crawl position. You're gonna have your shoulders directly above your wrists. You're gonna have your knees an inch above the ground, and you're gonna relax that back. Now, also make sure that those knees are directly under your hips. You don't wanna have your feet too far back, and you don't wanna have them too far forward. So you're gonna hang out right here, nice and controlled this whole time. You're gonna start to feel a little bit of the quads burning, and you're gonna feel that midsection. I always try to cue people to squeeze the abs and also squeeze the glutes. Not so much in this case, but we're gonna activate those abs and you're gonna hang out. So we're gonna do this for a minute. We got 30 more seconds. This is a challenging position. I try to get the hard one out of the way first. And as soon as we're done with this one, we're gonna go into a side plank. We're gonna go side plank on the right side first, and then we'll do another plank hold and then a side plank on the left. So you just gotta hang out here that whole time. Do not let those knees drop. If you do, that's fine, but I want you to eventually be able to complete this without taking any breaks. We got three, two, one, and stop. Good, you got five seconds. We're gonna go long lever instead of short lever. Plank hold, hips up, and we're gonna hang out here, okay? Hips have to stay high. We can always go from short lever. That's with the knees bent behind. If you take a look at any of my other videos, you're gonna see what short lever looks like. In this case, because of the challenge, I want you to be able to do this long lever, arms up, back is flat against an imaginary wall, shoulder is directly above that elbow. You're gonna hang out right here, keeping the hips up. Don't let them dip, keep them high. You should feel right underneath here. You got 30 seconds, those obliques, are engaged and on fire. This feels good. So stay with me. Now, as I mentioned, we'll do another movement in between this, and then we're gonna go to the other side to target the opposite oblique. So 15 more seconds. Your goal is to do this for four straight minutes without falling or dropping those hips or going to your knees. Keep holding. I'll give you the count time. We got five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Good job. Five seconds. We're going to go into a push-up plank position. And we're popping up, hanging out here, nice and controlled. So relax that upper back, shoulders directly above those wrists. Squeeze the glutes, squeeze the abs. One minute. Now, this is going to be tough because it's going to fire up your shoulders. And that's going to start to go probably before anything. Well, it depends on you, you and your uh, kind of physical conditioning. But you don't want those hips to really drop either. We want to stay right here, relaxing that, nice and controlled. And you're just going to hold out. We got 30 more seconds, so stay with me. You can already feel my right shoulder from doing that side plank. It's a little bit more fatigued than my left. But we're going to hold out. You got this. This is a tough four-minute plank challenge. You guys can do this anywhere. You can do it in your hotel room, gym, kitchen, living room, bedroom. You could do it even at my place here in Arizona Train Lab if you ever come. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one, and stop. Okay, go to the other side real quick. Same rules apply with that side plank. Hips up, and let's go. So, shoulder directly above the elbow. Hands up, back, flat up against an imaginary wall. Hips are going to stay high. You should feel that oblique. Hang out with me. Almost fell over there. We got 45 seconds. We're going to keep those hips up. I really want you to feel that burn. And I'm going to reiterate it again. You're probably like telling me, be quiet. If you can't do this now, if it's too challenging, I want you to continually do this. You can wait a couple days, do it again. Keep trying, keep trying. And as soon as you finally get all four minutes, I want you to comment. And I want to know that you were able to do it. So that would make me very happy. you got 15 more seconds. Keep holding. We're going to go all the way to the end. Ten seconds. Keep the hips up. Feel that all the way. You got five, four, three, two, and 
stop. Good job. If you did that, phenomenal work. It's great from a stabilization standpoint on the midsection. Check out some of the other videos where I talk about stabilization and strength. If you want any other ab workouts, feel free to check out this page. Don't hesitate to subscribe. And remember, make sure to comment when you can get full four minutes completed without a break. Have a great day.